Colors are the most important part of photography and videography, as it communicates the kind of feeling you want to convey to your footage. But getting the right color in your footage is not a piece of cake. For that, you need to get the white balance correct. Now many of us don't know what white balance is and how to get the perfect white balance. So in this video, we're going to talk about the white balance in depth. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now some of you might be wondering what white balance is. In simple terms, white balance is simply telling the camera about what is white, so that the camera can adjust all the other colors in relation to that white point. Now, why is this necessary? It is because different lighting conditions change the actual color of your image. For example, if you are shooting under fluorescent light, there will be a cooler blue color cast. But still, our eyes can recognize a white color in those different lighting situations as our brain has the ability to remove excess colors and understand the actual color. But a camera is not that smart, and thus, we need to tell the camera what is pure white in different lighting situations. If you are new to photography, you might find white balance a little challenging to understand. And if you want to know nothing about white balance and still want to take a decent picture or video, you have the auto white balance or AWB in your camera. In this mode, the camera does all the hard work for you and automatically corrects a white balance. However, this will not always work. So to get the perfect color in each of your shots, you need to understand all the other settings as well as the manual ways to adjust the white balance. There are some other white balance presents, such as daylight, incandescent, cloudy, flash, tungsten, and many more. These presets also work automatically. You just select the lighting condition you are shooting in and you are all set. For example, the daylight, which is more than 5000 Kelvin, is similar to the color temperature of a sunny day. For your better understanding, here is the chart for some of the frequently used white balance presets with Kelvin value. If you want to do it completely manually, you can also input the Kelvin temperature value to your camera to get the colors right. If you crank up the value, your image would look warmer. On the other hand, if you lower down the value, you will get a cooler tone in your image. But you might be wondering what happens if you select the wrong mode. For example, if you are shooting on an extremely sunny day, but set the white balance to shades, which is around 7000 Kelvin, you will get a very warm color image where nothing looks natural. If you want to eliminate the tedious process of understanding the environment and selecting the right mode for white balancing, there is an easier way to do so. You can use gray card for white balancing to adjust the colors. And if you are a Panasonic or Sony shooter, this is really very easy. You just have to go to the custom white balance and a box will pop up. Then you have to place the card in the box, press set and boom. You have set the most accurate white balance of your frame. But if you're using a Canon camera, you have to take a picture of the gray card in a way that it fills the frame. Then go to the custom white balance and select picture, press set and you are done. There is another easy way for white balancing if you choose to shoot in RAW mode. You can easily fix the white balance in post-production with apps like Lightroom and others. And most of the shooters out there use this technique as perfecting white requires time, which might cause missing the moment if shooting a fast-paced scenario. As we have understood the rules of perfect white balancing, now let's see where we can break the rules. As we all know, colors are something more of a personal preference and maybe sometimes you don't want the actual colors. In that case, you can manually tweak the white balance value to get the right temperature. If you want a cooler look, you should be dialing a lesser value of the actual white balance and upper values for warmer tones. Sometimes the situation also demands a particular color temperature. For example, 
if you are shooting a horror movie, most of your footage should have a cooler color temperature to create the exact feeling. So a lesser value of the white balance would be appropriate in that case. So that was all about the white balance and how you can get the perfect white balance in your footage. Hope you have a clear concept of white balance now. If you have any questions or want to share some more tips about white balance, please let us know in the comment section.